So this is not my first time trying to record this. Um, I've been watching Dissociated, D-I-D. Um, it's about, you know, having different personalities due to traumatic things. And I think I have that right. I'm sorry if I have it wrong. I'm still learning. Um, but it made me think about how literally my life was like the vice versa. How I, instead of traumatic events happening to me and me finding a way to cope like that, I shut down completely. Um, so there were no personalities for anybody, for anything, for nothing. Um, and I just think that's so amazing that the human mind can bounce like that. Like how some folks, you know, they go to one end and other folks go to another end and there's just everything in between. Um, but now that I'm trying to sort my life out and try to make things better for myself and I'm moving and I cannot wait to move because it's going to be so much better for my mental health. But anyway, I digress. So I feel like it's amazing how some people can have similar traumas or even not similar traumas and have the same sort of response to trauma. Well, for me, and I know, you know, this hampered a lot of relationships in my life, friendships, marriage, all of it. Um, due to the fact that I shut down. And I guess what I want to specifically talk about is one event that makes me remember when I kind of threw my hands up. Um, I wanna say I was like eight, nine, maybe 10. I moved out of this house when I was 10, so it had to be before I was 10. Um, my parents were drug addicts and they were alcoholics and they were crazy people. And we lived next door to my dad's mom. Um, she was the one that rented the house out to us. Well, I remember an event where my parents got into it and um, I got threw up into a bookshelf, like upward into a bookshelf. Um, I remember that. I remember a phone getting thrown and um, I remember wearing one of those, you know, the little girl pajamas that like came down like his, like a dress um, in the early 90s. Well, that's what I was wearing. Um, I remember it being cold. I remember it being dark outside. Um, and I don't remember if I couldn't call 911 because the phone had been ripped out or if we didn't have um, phone service because toward the end we didn't. Um, and I remember my dad had my mom pinned on the floor um and i ran next door to his mom's house and now granted i had been over there a few times because we didn't have phone service i think at this point i think we didn't have phone service i remember a phone getting thrown but i don't know why so anyway i ran next door to call the police and i remember looking through my dad's mom's window over door and screaming that he was going to kill my mom and she said I couldn't call 911. Um, she didn't want to get involved and I think that is the moment when I decided I couldn't trust anybody because if I can't trust my parents not to kill each other and to not hurt me or my brother. I used to hide my little brother in between the sides of the waterbed so they couldn't find him or he couldn't get hurt. So that's when I kind of gave up. Like, what do you do then? You know? You know, your mom has a broken nose. And I mean, I'm not saying by any means that, like, it was just my dad. Because I am 100% sure that it was her too. But, uh, it just all went down to strength. And, you know, what can you do as a little girl? Nothing. I've tried, you know, at this point in my life when I was that young, I would try, like, jumping on the middle of them and clawing and hitting with things and just trying to get in the middle of it. Um, 
But I think that that event really damaged me in a lot of ways. Um, I don't trust people. I don't trust family members. I don't trust friends. I don't trust anybody. And I'm trying to get better at that. I'm trying to learn to trust people. Um, my current situation is hard for me to trust people, but I'm trying, I'm really trying. Um, and I think it goes also, you know, back to how much I'm gonna do and how much I'm gonna work. Um, where I don't immediately go to, in my head, well, they're against me or they're gonna lie to me anyway or I don't want to get people involved that's another big thing too is I just don't want to get people involved in things that are going on in my head and uh, it's really hard for me to let people in as far as that goes but all coming back down around um, I'm trying to get better at that but that is I don't know what it was about watching this um, show or channel that made me think about that but it was more of like an epiphany like I remember the moment and how I felt and what the outside smelled like what I was wearing I remember my hair being greasy I remember crying and tasting my tears like and that was the moment I gave up so if anybody is in my life that is watching this, just know that I am trying to trust people. And sometimes, you know, you can hand out trust as much as you want to a person and it just won't matter. And that's fine. There's nothing I can do about that. But I have to put in the effort to at least try and trust people. Even if it hurts, I guess. Because I know it's supposed to be normal, too. Like, pain is a part of being a human. You can't just shut down. And that's what I did. <laughs> so if anybody's going through something and it's traumatic and you're seeing stuff like this on YouTube, too. And don't think that I'm saying, like, these people aren't, it's not real. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, there are people out there that experience the complete opposite where you just don't talk about it you don't want to think about it you just it's almost like you black out about it so i don't know just something i felt like i needed to share there has to be somebody out there somewhere that's feeling the same kind of way where they just realize you know there's a point in their life where they just gave up on trusting people and they know that moment and it's heartbreaking but also relieving but also, like, you don't want to offend anybody. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to, like, blame anybody for anything. I'm just saying, like, that was just my moment. That was my moment that I stopped trusting. And it sucks because, you know, 20-something years go by and you still can't figure out why you can't trust anybody. So, I don't know. I think I just want to document how this is going to go, especially after this move. I know it's going to make a big difference. It's going to make me feel a million times better. And maybe I can start going on the path of trusting people. Because right now, I really can't. I just can't. I can't trust anybody. And I'm sorry if it offends you. But somebody out there knows how I'm feeling. So. Good luck. And on the next video that I have where I'm talking about this, hopefully I'm taking the next step into the right direction for myself. <laughs>